What is up guys? Tanner back from the GT's Outdoors channel. We're out and you're gonna say, oh, is this a patterning video or you know, a gun of the week video? Well, it's both. So I'm super excited for this video, guys. I've uh, had this thing on layaway for a little bit. I've um, just been paying it off slowly. And what it is, is a H&R um, topper model, three and a half inch full choke, 10 gauge, single shot. So it is a 10 gauge guys this thing's a beast um beautiful gun i don't know how you guys can see the uh case hardening there i'm all over today but case hardening it has a 36 inch barrel it's got a monster long barrel on it um it's awesome uh the wood's in great shape except for right down here there's one little crack uh well it's not a crack it's just chipped off um and then one little dent up here um just a brass bead on the end of this thing but i mean you guys see how long that is 36 inch long barrel full choke this thing is hopefully going to be a turkey killing son of a gun um got a uh, box of these oh that's good to set it right in the puddle that's that's always awesome um huh, that's great set your shotgun shells in a wet puddle um anywho well, they didn't soak through the box there are federal premium turkey loads the mag shocks there are a Where's the hell? There it is. Number five shot, 10 gauge, three and a half inches, and two ounces a shot. They're copper plated with the flight control wad. So you guys will look at that shell. It's a big brown shell, 10 gauge, made in the USA. This is a made in the USA gun as well. Um, I'm super excited for this, guys. I think this is going to be an awesome, awesome shotgun. So hopefully a turkey killing son of a gun. Told you guys I had some turkey videos coming out. Um, I actually lost, I had two turkey hunts that I filmed. First turkey hunt, I went with my fiance. Second one was with Ryland. Um, we saw two hens with Ryland, heard uh, one gobble with my fiance. Um, obviously spring season here in Missouri, you can't shoot hens, just the Toms and Jakes. So didn't uh, didn't get any yet, but uh, got some more hunting planned. Uh, lost those videos, it's a long, confusing story, but wound up losing those videos. Um, one other thing on this shotgun I forgot to mention is I do have a uh, recoil reducing you know pad I added onto it. It fits perfect. It's really snug. I'm just going to leave that on there because this is a heavy hitting gun. Um, but turkey videos are coming, guys. I promise I will uh, get you some turkey videos out as soon as as soon as I can. Oh, trip over the bench there. You saw that. Move that trash can out of the way and scoot the bench over here. So, getting set up, guys. We have a uh, HS Strut Turkey Target down there at 35 yards, and we're gonna go ahead and shoot this guy a couple times, two or three times. I'm not sure yet. So I just actually picked this up from my local gun shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and pan back over here and uh, get ready to shoot this thing. So two ounce number five shot. Um, from what I've heard, these are a pretty potent load for these. Um, so my boss said he uses a 10-gauge uh, browning pump. It's either a pump or semi-auto, I don't remember what he said, but he uses those shells in it for turkey hunting. So put some mufflers on here. I'll square it away. It does also have an ejector, so it will spit the shell out when it's done. Um, never shot a 10-gauge before, guys, so I am a little, a little nervous. Um, also pretty excited, so I don't know how bad these are going to kick. I've heard some of them, the heavier guns with these longer barrels, don't actually kick that bad. And then some of them with the shorter barrels, you know, with buckshot in them, kick like absolute mules. So we're going to find out. Um, it's a hammer cock. There's no external safety. The hammer is your safety and your trigger is the safety. So go ahead and uh, shoot this bad boy and see how bad she really is. I'm going to bead right on the head, guys, of that HS strut target, just like every other patterning video. I know this is uh, during turkey season instead of before, but uh, you know, got this gun as soon as I could. So get comfy here. Sit right on that head. <laughs> guys, that actually wasn't that bad. It wasn't great. It definitely transferred a lot of energy into my shoulder, um, but it was not that bad at all. 
Like that was like shooting a 12 gauge three and a half. So all this weight really did help. Uh, we're gonna run down range, check that target. Uh, I'll get back with you guys here in just a second. All right, guys, down range here. Um, looks like that shot went a little high and right, possibly, but uh, that's a dead turkey. I mean, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pellets in the head, first shot. Um, so I think I pulled it. We're going to go ahead and uh, shoot that again just to make sure, uh, you know, it was me pulling it. That's that's a pretty decent pattern um, for just a full choke gun, not having a turkey choke in it. So see you guys here in a second for shot number two. All right, let's get loaded up for shot number two here. That really wasn't bad. I'm, I'm, I'm a little surprised. I was figuring it was going to kick a little bit more, but I mean, it's not like shooting a 22, but that really ain't that bad. So I think that went a hair high and a hair right on that last shot. So I'm going to try uh, really focusing on that. I think I was expecting a little bit more recoil on that first shot. So um, that was probably me pulling it. So we're cocked and we're ready to go again, guys. So. Yeah, really all not bad. You saw that eject that shell. It's, I didn't realize this had an ejector. I figured it just had an extractor on it, but does have an ejector so that's pretty cool let's uh run down range check out shot number two from this uh 10 gauge all right guys so it still is shooting a hair to the right um as you can tell but we'll uh we'll address that here in a second we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 19 pellets in the head that's a, a lot better than we've been doing with any other gun besides uh i think that 835 ulti mag so i'm pretty happy with that that's a dead bird for sure so i'm gonna shoot another one just for uh shits and grins guys and uh we'll put up another target and see if we can uh, pull it to the left just a little a little bit more all right guys so i actually scavenged some clays from over at the the trap field to the left of me there and on top of that cardboard box you see uh, down here, there's five clays sitting on top of that. So I'm just going to leave the camera on those five clays. We're going to act like that's the turkey's head. We do have a fresh target hung up, but I just want to see uh, how hard it's kind of hitting on those clays. There's five clays stacked up and set up top there. So we'll see. Uh, that's at about 30 yards. So... Let's go ahead and see if we can dust those clays there. Well guys, I don't know how well you can see that on video, but uh, those clays are gone. That was, uh, that was pretty awesome. That's a dead turkey for sure. Let's go down there and see the damage. So at 35 yards, it hit this box a few times, but uh, like I said, um, there's not not a whole lot left of clays. There, uh, there's pieces scattered around, but that's about it. So, all right, guys, this has been a uh, pretty awesome video. Uh, appreciate you guys checking out the GT's Outdoors channel. Hopefully, we'll see you uh, if we can get a big bird with that 10 gauge this weekend. So I'll see you then, guys. Thanks. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if there's something you guys want to see or if you just want to say, hey, um, like this video, I'd appreciate it. And maybe maybe subscribe if you're not. I know I got a lot of people watching who aren't subscribed. So if you know you do like this kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe. It'd mean, uh, mean a lot to me. So see you guys in the next one.